Hello, everybody. Dr. Lonnie Stewart here from the Healthcare Education Transformation Podcast. Are you a physical therapy student about to start studying for the National Physical Therapy Examination? Or maybe you're a professor, a program director, or a clinical instructor who teaches DPT students preparing for the NPTE? Either way, we would recommend checking out our sponsor, NPTE Final Frontier, and the community they've built around preparing for and succeeding on the NPTE. That exam and the preparation that goes along with it can be long, tedious, difficult, and stress-inducing, but it doesn't have to be. NPTE Final Frontier has the tactics and resources to help address all of the usual barriers. They even have scholarships to help with NPTE study courses, FSBPT registration fees, and even research opportunities. And if that's not enough, they're even donating to the very first annual HET Podcast Scholarship to be awarded at the end of every year. Go to NPTEFF.com for all of the details and use code HET for 10% off all purchases. Links to both the NPTE Final Frontier and their scholarship options are available in the show notes. And now, let's get ready to learn. Hello, everybody. Dr. F. Scott Field here with another Teach Me Something Tuesday episode of the HET Podcast. Today's topic is uh, not just about teaching and educating. It's not just for students and for professors. It's for clinicians. It's for CIs. It's for really humans in general. And it kind of goes back to uh, one of the networking episodes that we talked about, and we, we touched on it briefly there. But today's topic is really just finding ways to connect with individuals. Let's say we're talking about students. Students have special interests. They have goals. They have hobbies. They have dreams. They look to you as a professor and as somebody who is educating them and someone who they look up to, to help grow and develop not only as students, but as critical thinkers, as clinical thinkers, uh, eventually as good clinicians. It's important to find out what makes each student tick and what their motivations are so that you can really help them be successful. And this can be difficult uh, if you have larger cohorts. Uh, the good news for me, again, my cohorts generally tend to tap out at about 30, 35. You know, and if I'm teaching three or four classes that semester, that's about 120 students. But I start to see them over and over and over again as they progress through their, their education. So I do get to know them. I get to learn about them. Uh, I am an advisor to many of them. So uh, I have a little more um, time to spend with each one. Uh, but I generally try to reach out to, to each and every student at least once. Uh, during some of my courses, I, I like to just take time at the end of the class to just ask general questions about them. Um, you know, where do they think they're going to work eventually? What settings are they interested in? How do they think they're going to impact the world of physical therapy? Just little check-in questions so that I can kind of get to know their dreams and their goals and their vision a little bit better. Uh, and, and again, those may change as their education and schooling moves on, but realistically, this idea of connecting and getting to know individuals better and on a deeper level, uh, it's, it's about more than education, right? It's, it's more like teaching the whole student or the whole person, right? Very holistic approach. We talk about the biopsychosocial model a lot of times uh, in healthcare. And, and really, there is a, a, a psychological and a social component to healthcare and to interacting with students, with professors, with CIs, with, with patients, right? If we look at it from a patient standpoint, we're one of the fortunate healthcare providers that gets to see our patients several times a week, uh, sometimes for 30 to 60 minutes, uh, sometimes more. We have the opportunity to make those connections and to have meaningful conversations and to be active listeners. That's the best way to connect and to start getting that buy-in on the biopsychosocial model and that triple aim. Uh, and the, the quicker you can do that and the more you make that connection and the quicker you get that buy-in, the better results you'll have, the quicker you'll have those results. And it just helps you on a personal level, not only with soft skills and with, with knowing how to communicate with people, but also on a human to human level, right? Just interacting with people is a great thing. Making connections is a great thing. And, and connecting on a meaningful level is something that is beneficial to both parties. So today's takeaway, today's Teach Me Something Tuesday is to find ways to connect with individuals. 
Hope that was helpful. Hope it gets you thinking a little bit about how you can start to implement some of these practices and really start getting to know your students uh, or your professors or your patients. And we'll see you on the next one. Well, I hope that episode was entertaining as much as it was informational and educational. If you enjoyed this episode or any of our past episodes, we ask you to please subscribe to the podcast and leave us a rating and review. And please share out the episodes to those who you feel may be able to benefit from them. We also urge you to follow us on all social media platforms at HET Podcast and let us know what topics or experts you would like to hear from in future episodes. And just as a reminder, none of the information on today's show should be considered medical advice. It's simply infotainment or edutainment to help educate our audience. For medical advice, we always advise you to reach out to your preferred medical professionals, and we'll see you on the next show.